Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Um, happy 4th of July. Hope everybody's out having fun, being safe. Um, today, see if I can get this thing to follow me. I wanted to give everyone an update on the uh, 2016 Silverado uh, salvage project. Uh, if you're not, uh, if you don't know anything about this truck, check out my channel. I've got another video. This will be part two. Um, I'm going to have several parts. This will take me a while to get this thing fixed. But uh, yeah, I've got another video explaining where it came from and uh, how it looked before. So I'll show you a video of where I started at. This will be my uh, two-week update. So um, I went ahead and pulled off the bed, got the bumper off, pulled the rear axle out, and pretty much assessed the damage. Um, wasn't too bad, kind of what I expected. Uh, there wasn't much frame frame issues. It doesn't look like it really uh, got into too much. I've got a Let's see if we can get a, I've got a uh, bump stop down there. It's got a little bit of damage on it. Other than that, not too bad. Um, if you look at this, this thing was side swiped at over a hundred miles an hour um, with a horse trailer on it. So there's the, there's the side of the frame that uh, was not hit. And there's the side of the frame that was hit. And now it's sitting at a little bit of an angle, but you could see the frame is just slightly tweaked. Um, I did put it on alignment rack and the all four wheels aligned to each other perfectly. Um, so maybe once I get a little bit further going, I might have the frame looked at, but honestly, I'm not too worried about it. Um, I don't think it caused any frame damage. So this truck came in this way and it tore the axle out from under it. And, uh, but other than that, it was mainly cosmetic. So I bought a new axle or a junkyard axle. I paid $2,000 for that. Uh, I bought a set of leaf springs. Those were $100. I don't think I've messed with anything back here yet. I found a set of rims, uh, Denali rims that I liked a lot better. Uh, I paid 600 for the set, and uh, they were brand freaking new. The guy drove it from the dealership down to the shop and had tires and rims put on it. So I had a friend that had these sitting in his shop, and I mean, they were brand freaking new. Um, so then I went and bought a set of tires to match, uh, actually two tires, and I kept the front ones. So these are uh, Cooper AT3s. And they had, so it's got one mismatched tire here, so that's a good year. And it had one AT3 on the other side. So those tires are like $300 a piece. So I got another six, 600 in the rear tires, and then another like 125 in uh, tire pressure monitor sensors. Um, I did it up, I already found a bed for it. I paid $125. For a white service bed or a white bed that was a pull-off in order to put a service bed on there. 
Um, same with the bumper. I got the bumper and tailgate for another 125. And um, so I got to get them painted. There's a little bit of body damage that I'll have to work on in a few places. Very minor dents. This was actually separate. That wasn't part of the crash, but that was on there prior. This is actually a uh, peacock attacking the chrome on this truck, um, is what I was told. So other than that, body's not too bad on this side. I'll end up having to uh, blend in the bed and do a do quite a bit of paint and body work. Um, let's see what we got here. I got the the fuel tank skid plate replaced. Uh, bought that was a dealer part. I think that was 125, and uh, that was the only thing wrong there. So I still got brake lines, e-brake cables, um, quite a bit of work to do on that side. And then, uh, so we're going to end up having to replace this whole thing here. I've got a little bit of body damage inboard of this panel. Um, other than that, not too bad. So there's a little bit of paint damage here. For the most part, I don't know if I'm going to worry about too much of this stuff. So this, this door still doesn't open. This door opens and closes fine. So this is a high country. Um, so it's a higher package pretty nice we came in here and cleaned out the interior uh, truck was super clean this thing has like 52,000 miles on it um, everything cleaned up pretty good so I had to get into so we've got side curtain airbags on both sides that I got to replace the headliners ripped because the airbags went off um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna replace the headliner just yet that was a super expensive part and it's not terrible um, I'm gonna have to I'm almost positive once they wreck so I'm gonna have to replace both seat belts I've got a new brand new uh, From the dealer seat cover and an airbag that goes inside of here I can't remember those were I think the seat cover was like 170 and the airbag was a couple hundred bucks um, The roof airbags the side curtain airbags were super expensive from the dealer So I'm gonna look at some other options and see how that goes so, other than that, this thing uh, got a ton of warning lights on right now. But this puppy fires right up. Runs perfect. No engine issues, no tranny issues, no transfer case issues, nothing wrong with the front end. Um, this was a super clean truck. Like I stated before, I actually just went to get this for the engine and transmission. Um, and once I got to looking at it, I mean, it looked terrible, but I've been around quite a bit of wrecked vehicles. And so I kind of knew that this would this would be a, uh, a fixable vehicle. Let's see if I can open this hood. Super clean underneath the... Underneath the hood, emissions still intact. Looks like it was well maintenanced. Wasn't really taken off road. Uh, no mud, no dirt, no grease. Fluids are clean, oil's clean. Nice push bumper on it. Looks brand new. It's not really too many scrapes and scratches. I think I actually did that loading it. Um, but other than that, I mean, this thing's intact. If they go off-road, usually these uh, lower valances are tore up. So, um, yeah, let me show you. I got a new, they call these unisides. Which way is the bottom? Okay, so right here. So this is brand new from the dealer. I think this was $600. And you could see back here on this panel. So that's the seam in the rear. So I'm going to have to replace this whole entire C pillar here, but I'm not sure how far forward I'm going to replace. So I'll probably end up just cutting right here and somewhere up top and just uh, grafting that in. GM's got some procedures for that. So 
we're, we got damage right here and the damage stops right in here somewhere. So I'll probably cut it right here. We're gonna replace all the way down and the damage on the, on the unit side doesn't go too far. So we'll replace right in here. Uh, so you get the glue out of there, uh, cut the spot welds, uh, get this thing off and then we'll weld it back in. There's some rock ship uh, protection paint that goes right here. A little bit of sealer and we'll have to, I don't know how the hell they do this, but we'll have to get a sealer back in this seam here, fix a few of these little dents and everything and then I'll have to paint everything, blend it in and I'll most likely end up just painting maybe just painting the whole vehicle um not sure how that's gonna work so i already got two new doors for it 250 dollars a piece uh sorry not new but they're out of the junkyard i gotta strip them down paint the inside of them green replace my unicide put it on door jam it and then um paint the face of the bed paint the underneath of the bed and i'll end up doing a whole paint job on the truck so some of these parts were a little bit more expensive than I thought. Uh, I mean, this Denali stuff, high country, Silverado, diesel stuff adds up pretty quickly. Uh, but I've already driven the truck um, up and down the road a little bit without brakes and uh, just up and down my dirt road. Um, so everything looks like it's going to go together good. So yeah, stay tuned. Figure I'd give you guys an update. And uh, the next stop is... Um, all the brake stuff, drive line, and making sure the frame is as good as I can get it and there's no major issues. Once I verify all that side, drive it up and down the road, um, then I'm going to start getting started on body work. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the update. Uh, stay tuned. Got lots of projects going on around here. I have a screw compressor I got to figure out. I've got my F550 over there still waiting on me. Got some boats for some customers. Um, they were supposed to come pick up this weekend for 4th of July and they did not. Uh, no, no big deal for me. And uh, got a junk trailer a customer dropped off, wanted me to work on. Not sure if I want to work on that thing or not. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. If you're not uh, subscribed already, please subscribe. I've got some pretty good uh, projects I plan on doing, and I'm kind of chiseling my way through these things slowly while still maintaining a full-time day job. So these are all side projects. Um, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.